Hi guys, welcome back to 100% Mags. So I hope you're all staying safe and well out there. So we are out of the FA Cup third round for once again uh, another year. Uh, of course, last year we seen Newcastle go out of the FA Cup third round. Uh, of course, it's St James's Park to Cambridge United. Uh, this time we're seeing, uh, of course, ourselves go out once again at Hillsborough. This time. Uh, with a 2-1 defeat uh, to the hands of Sheffield Wednesday. Same referee as well from last year's game at St James's Park with Michael Salisbury officiating over the game. And I've got to say, you know, he didn't do uh, a very good job uh, of officiating the game. Sheffield Wednesday were very dirty in the game, I thought. But at the end of the day, you know, it is expected. Uh, they have a point to prove, you know, because they want to come up against a Premier League outfit and they want to cause a shock in the competition as well uh, as is the case with the FA Cup you know they always uh, try to uh, create that shock moment where a lower league team comes up against a Premier League outfit and wins and they got their wish you know they come away from the game uh, two one winners in the game of course they didn't score the opening goal of the game until the second uh, half, though, on the 52nd minute, uh, when it was, of course, Josh Windass, Dean Windass's son, who opened the scoring for Sheffield Wednesday. Uh, then, of course, he bagged himself a second goal in the game on the 65th minute. That one, of course, assisted by uh, Jordy Ladd, Michael Smith, who really wanted this tie at St. James's Park, but instead it ended up being picked up for Hillsborough. Uh, and then, of course, we've seen uh, the oncoming substitute Bruno uh, Gamaresh scoring in the game forward, of course, on the 69th minute to put Newcastle a goal behind, uh, you know, to put Newcastle just one goal behind uh, Sheffield Wednesday in the game and a chance, you know, to nab it back to equal. Uh, and unfortunately, it wasn't to be. Uh, looking at the way the game played out as well by the end of the game, Newcastle came away from the game with 75% possession to Sheffield Wednesday is 25. That is expected at the end of the day. We're going up against a League One side. We're third in the Premier League, up against a team that are, I believe, second down in League One. You know, so there's a whole complete uh, division in there, you know, a whole league in between the two sides. Uh, and of course, we came away with 22 shots in the game. Uh, they only made nine shots in the game. Uh, we got seven on target. They got four on target. And of course, we had 11 corners to their one. Uh, we only had eight fouls, whilst they had 17 fouls. That just shows you, you know, what kind of mentality they were going for in this game. But at the end of the day, you know, it is expected. They're a lower league team, uh, you know, a team that, are doing really well for themselves in League One. And there's always that chance of an upset. Uh, I did have the hope that, you know, Newcastle's form that we were going into this game with, you know, 15 games unbeaten. I had that uh, hope that that was going to be, you know, the defining factor on us coming away from this game with the win. Unfortunately, it's not to be. But, of course, that means that that is the first defeat Newcastle has picked up since the 31st of August when we lost in Anfield. Uh, of course, to that controversial winner by Liverpool. Uh, but that is impressive when you look at it, you know, because we are now in the 7th of January, you know, and that is a very long time, uh, you know, since we played that game all the way back on the 31st of August, you know, of last year. Uh, so that is a really good, impressive run by Newcastle. And if we can continue, uh, you know, to do that in the league this season, then we are definitely going to be going places. Uh, but I don't think this game at all is really going to affect with too much. At the end of the day, we've got a game coming up against uh, Leicester City at St James's Park you know that is very important to us it is a league cup quarter final uh, and that is on Tuesday of course it's St James's Park that is a very important game because that allows us to be able to make it to the semi-finals if we can beat Leicester City in that game uh, and then of course we also have a game only five days after that game 
uh, at St James's Park to take on Fulham. Uh, which of course if we win that game. That again helps with in the Premier League. And allows with to gain more points. Uh, with we're currently sitting in third. So there's a lot of positives to look at here. Yes we may be out of the FA Cup. Uh, for another year. But now that that competition is gone. We're out of it. That is one competition that we don't need to focus on. So now we can look at. The League Cup and focus on that. We can also focus on the Premier League as well. Uh, and there's also positives to take from the game as well. Look at who uh, started in the game for we. You know, we had the likes of, of course, Alexander Issa coming back for the first time since uh, he played back in September against Bournemouth. Uh, you know, so we've seen Issa get a run out tonight. 45 minutes he got before uh, Chris Wood came on. Uh, for the second half we've got to see a few other players get run out, out as well like Elliot Anderson uh, we've got to see Jamal Lewis get a run out for the first time in a while as well uh, Jamal Lascelles getting a run out as well uh, for the first time Matt Ritchie getting a run out for the first time in a while as well um, you know so there's a lot of positives to look at here uh, it's so easy to look at the negatives you know that we're out of the cup. Yes, at the end of the day, it's so easy to look at that, you know. But I know it's not great at the end of the day, losing the game. But look at the positives, like I've just said, you know, that it's one less competition to worry about. We've got the League Cup to focus on. We've got the Premier League to focus on because we're third in the Premier League. We've got a chance to make it in the semi-finals if we beat Leicester on Tuesday in the League Cup quarter-final. Uh, you know, so there's a lot of positives here. Uh, so let us know your thoughts about it down in the comments below. What were your thoughts on the game tonight against Sheffield Wednesday? And of course, you know, Sheffield Wednesday's goal as well that opened the scoring in the game was offside as well. So if Far had been in attendance for the game, like it was for the Man United game, like it was for the Palace game as well, and the other Premier League teams that played against each other, uh, you know, then... That goal would have been ruled out. But unfortunately we were playing in a league one ground. So there's no VAR. There's no goal line technology. So there's no way to rule that out. Even if you see it on the replay, play. You know so at the end of the day. It is what it is. Uh, we've just got to deal with it. Like we had to deal with the Liverpool situation. You know it's not ideal. But we just got to deal with it and move on. Uh, because there is a lot more important uh, games ahead like I say the Leicester game in the quarter final we need to win that game and get into the semi-finals uh, of the League Cup and we need to focus on the Premier League as well if we're still being in third place but let us know your thoughts down in the comments below as always remember like share subscribe to 100% mags and I'll see you all next time I'll wear the lads